This will be the final installation of the talk about near infrared. The French neurologist Nogier founded auricular acupuncture. Auricular acupuncture is basically seeing the ear as a mini whole body, and it's very well accepted in acupuncture circles. He also recognized that when you're first put together, basically sperm and egg, and you develop that morula, there are three germ cell levels, which include the endoderm, ectoderm, and the mesoderm. And from these three levels, everything that you are from hair to organs to teeth, etc., they come from this. Now these tissues, he found, resonate a special frequency as the fetus begins to grow. And that's how the fetus stays healthy as it grows. So when tissues as an adult get damaged in any of these three areas by reintroducing these area to its normal early resident frequency, the tissue can heal itself quickly, Nogier says. And these frequencies are in Hertz and they're pulsated, not used as a continuous frequency, since he found that when you pulse these frequency, it does seem to initiate healing. He also found that these frequencies can stimulate cells, decrease inflammation, improve circulation, improve lymphatic drainage, and of course, even help brain healthy activity to reoccur as well. These nodular frequencies, when they're combined with near infrared simultaneously, create not only a synergistic, but an augmented serious effect in a very positive way for our patients. When I treat a patient with near infrared, I pretty much always include simultaneously the full spectrum of these frequencies. Patients such as those that have coronary artery disease pretty much all require the reestablishment of the microcirculation, which you've already learned that near infrared does readily and also help the tissue damage where, for example, the circulation is repaired, but it innervates the heart and other tissues. We need to renew them. So the Nergeo frequencies may be our perfect answer with this. What I do is I combine this also in cancer patient. Pretty much all cancer patients have inflammation and they have poor circulation and poor perfusion to the organs where the mitochondria, of course, are no longer functioning. Remember the mitochondria, these small powerhouses in every single cell of our body, which produce ATP when they're not working properly, can initiate cancer growth. Now, as we noted in an earlier installation of infrared, we found the spectrum can promote cellular and tissue health. Add now the nodier frequencies simultaneously, and we find remarkable cellular tissue and organ enhancement. Basically, I basically take any disease entity and it can seriously be improved and directed towards optimal health with the use of near infrared and the nodier frequencies combined, let alone all the other adjunctive services that we use from medications to natural medicines, etc. Thank you so much for watching this series. I'm Dr. Mitch Gad.